27 of uh, Smiling Whiteness, the poetry of David R. Smith. This one is called uh, The Master is a Big Fat Liar, or The Lies the Master Told Me. When you meditate for 20 minutes, you don't leave the body. What is that for? The truth is, it takes about three to four hours to leave the body. Ask Kazir, and to learn to do three hours, effectively it takes six hours. It takes an insane amount of time to meditate. The master is a big fat liar. The master says you can live in the world and have God too. Have a family and wealth too. Actually, everything must be destroyed. You lose your family, you must lose all your money. It's scorched earth. Until nothing exists but God and you are poor. You cannot to get through, Jesus said it right, for a rich man to enter heaven is like putting a camel through the eye of a needle. You cannot meditate unless you have nothing. You have to give up everything. Everything is destroyed. Then you get to meet the devil. Again, Master is a big fat liar. Master says, you can marry and have children wrong. First of all, you can't find a virtuous wife that is enlightened. Only two in a million are enlightened, and the one that is enlightened is probably meditating, is not interested in you. If you don't know, if a relationship is past karma or new karma, many initiates have Initiate wives, husbands that have ended in divorce with multiple marriages. Children take you all your time, then leave you at 20. Listen to Cat Stevens, Cats in the Cradle. It's all a big a lie and a concession he made to Cal. The truth is you have to be totally celibate or the spirit does not rise. No sex ever. On the other hand, maybe he is right. Many marriages end in no sex ever to celibacy. Maybe marriage is celibacy. After all, St. Paul says, it's better to marry than to burn. Family is usually cruel and one has to turn to strangers when looking for kindness. The Grant says, in times of trouble, your friends and family run away. Again, Master is a big fat liar. Master likes to eat and party at all big at big events. You, you can't both eat and meditate. Even the ability to focus on darshan is poor with the big satsang events are the path of eating. They even have a veggie fest, it's all a big lie. To withdraw from the body you have to starve to death. Eating at night, in the evening, poisons meditation at 3 a.m. Eating food cooked by another is also poison when that can only eat food cooked by your own hand. The master also likes to party until late and then recommends you meditate at 3 a.m. So not unenlightened, say okay, and we'll wait until tomorrow. The enlightened know there is no tomorrow. The master is a big fat liar and disrupts one's meditation. You could call that a mystic poem? I don't know. We are reading from a poem called The Master is a Big Fat Liar or The Lies the Master Told to Me. Part 27. Reading from uh, Smiling Whiteness, the poetry of David R. Smith.